Hello Aquarius, I'm here to give you some insight. So this is not going to be a monthly read. I'm just going to do a check-in for you guys. So we're going to take a look and see what the potential energies are for you. In the current space and time that you're in. Okay. Let's see here. Healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries. So you could be practicing healthy boundaries or putting some healthy boundaries um, in place. Maybe someone's setting healthy boundaries with you. Maybe you're understanding what healthy boundaries are. Okay, look at yourself. So some of you are reflecting at this time or you're needing to take a look at yourself. Take a look at the role you've played in your um, life, in your situation. Um, I was hearing accomplishments. Some of you Aquarius could have accomplished something. So you need to, I was hearing give yourself a pat on the back. Look at yourself. You know, look how far you have come. Look at your, look at your growth. it over right here use your wisdom use your wisdom I was hearing discernment so some of you are using discernment at this time or encourage to use discernment in conjunction with wisdom controlling so you're dealing with someone who's controlling or someone could see you as controlling maybe you need to look at yourself see yourself as controlling, like see the truth about yourself. And that's for some of you and not all of you, okay? Trauma, so someone could be dealing with trauma or you could be dealing with trauma. I was hearing trauma bonding as well. All right, so let's see what else we got for you, Aquarius. Ace of Flames, so you could be um, taking back your power. I was um, getting a vision of someone climbing like stairs, but I mean, the amount of stairs were like <laughs> it was just a lot of stairs, pretty much. Okay, or maybe over a thousand stairs, but they made it to the top and then they had this torch in their hands. So you could have experienced something, some type of upheaval. Maybe this upheaval has been taking place over time. Um, either way, um, you made it to the top, all right? Or you're encouraged to keep going to find your strength. Oh, I can't I shuffle. I can't shuffle with these cards. There we go. So you could be dealing with your shadow side, dealing with the Capricorn, Capricorn Taurus. Not Capricorn Taurus. <laughs> Speaking too fast. Capricorn. Okay, you could be a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see. What do we got for you? The surrounding Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? All right, we got the Nine of Chalice. So your wish fulfillment. I was hearing someone is... Um, being selfish, um, and it maybe in a gut way, you know, focusing on their own needs. This could be you. You could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, I was hearing solitary confinement. Some of you may feel like you're in solitary confinement, or maybe you had this time to, you know, uh, maybe spend time alone to really. Um, I don't know. I was hearing expand on some things. Maybe you had some time to think to really. Um, I don't know what I was hearing, like getting in your feels. Okay, so it's just the energy of like introspection. Okay, it's like you're weighing things out mentally, emotionally, spiritually, even. All right, but I do see that some of you are experiencing a wish fulfillment or you're needing to uh, focus on your own needs. 
Okay, this is the Lord of Happiness. Ooh, we have the Tower. Oh, Lord. So for some of you, you could have been minding your own business, doing your own thing, and then here comes this Tower, this change that needed to take place. This could have been somebody um, blowing up, getting angry. This is Mars. This could be an Aries that you're dealing with. This could also be a Scorpio or somebody with these energies. Um, but this tower is a huge blow up. It's a, it's a breakup. Okay. Someone could have saw you as their wish fulfillment and maybe it blew up in their face or vice versa. You saw someone as a wish fulfillment and it kind of blew up in your face or a situation that felt good at one point And then now there's like a tower. There's like a shaking of the foundation. I was hearing fermentation. This could have been something that have been stewing for a bit, fermenting for a bit. And then it finally blew up. Whatever this is, it's like, it, it's, you know, it, it shook things up, okay? Something blew its top or you blew, it, blew your top, the person, whatever. So we have Luna, the moon. So this was unexpectedly. So this happened unexpectedly. Uh, you could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer. Um, this is a phase you're going through. Um, you're experiencing this phase. I'm hearing, um, I was hearing learning the lesson, okay? All right, you have the seven of crystals, the seven of pentacles. So this is patience here. Um, also, this could talk about um, not being fulfilled with what where you're at at this time, not really having what you want for some of you. You can be doing the Capricorn Taurus Virgo. All right, this could be in regards to, you know, your work, um, material things. You're not really satisfied or happy. Okay. Um, some of you could be walking away from something or changing something up. Okay. This is a major change here. All right. And since you did that, now it's time to, I was hearing like pace yourself, you know, have patience even. Okay. That's for some of you. Um, but this is the Lord of unfulfilled success. Okay. There was once some happiness. Okay. Some fulfillment here, but it's, I'm hearing like I feel jaded. All right, this is Saturn and Taurus. Okay, Saturn is a planet of restriction, pessimism, and structure. So there could be some pessimism here. I was hearing, I keep hearing jaded. All right, this definitely has something to do with your career, your, you know, your sense of stability, security. All right, um, finances, possessions, values. It's just some unfulfillment here. Okay, so you're you're seeking the flames so you're trying to find that inspiration and i was mentioning that early in the reading with the ace of wands you know finding your power or reclaiming your power i feel like this very well could be the case because she has the torch but the torch is not lit okay so you could be trying to find you know your source of inspiration or find your happiness or uh, you're trying to find something that's going to excite you again that's going to make you feel passionate all right, this could be in a form of uh, spirituality. Maybe you're trying to find your spirituality or you're trying to find, it's definitely something outside of yourself. It's definitely situational, okay? Um, this could be also um, a focus on a child, okay? Um, all right, or your inner child here. For some of you, your, maybe your child, it's, like, um, it's, it's the energy of being burnt out, okay? your child being burnt out for some of you, or this could be, you know, cause there isn't a flame in the torch. So it could have been, you know, um, in regards to maybe a child who has passed or something like that. Okay. Um, this is not for all of you. You know, this could have already happened for some of you, not all of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it's not a child, it could be like a sibling or something like that. Okay. Um, but like I said, it's not for all of you, but someone is definitely seeking some type of inspiration and an adventure, like newness. Um, I was hearing discovery, you know, you could be on a path of self-discovery. Maybe you had to initiate this tower moment in order to, um, you know, um, initiate this, um, path of discovery. Okay. You had to change something or something maybe happened unexpectedly, you know, but it was kind of like a blessing in disguise for some of you, not all of you. Okay. Um, seeker or orbs. Okay. So this is 
an energy of a spy, somebody <laughs> spying or watching. So Aquarius, you could be watching somebody or somebody's watching you. You you are discovering something. There was something that was not really clear to you. And now it's being, um, you're being aware of it. Okay. I was hearing that you were seeking something. I don't know what that something is. Okay. Um, first I was hearing that for some of you, you were seeking the answers and you're finding it here. I was hearing it was where you least expected it to be, whatever this is, but I do feel like you're going to be finding the answer. You're going to be discovering something Aquarius. Okay. It could have been some truth. It could have had something to do with this tower, whatever this tower was. Maybe it wasn't clear to you because it happened so unexpectedly. But I was hearing the moving parts. You're discovering something. You're discovering what was behind this tower or behind this moon energy here. Okay. Give me the tea on Aquarius. Give me the tea on Aquarius. Or somebody could be finding something out about you. Okay, this card came out sideways and it's unbothered and unfettered due to not caring or giving a fuck. They care, but they don't want you to know how much. So you could care about somebody, but you don't want them to know this. Okay, I was hearing I'm giving up on you. Somebody could have gave up on you. Or you gave up on somebody else. Um, somebody could see you as someone that's that doesn't care. Okay, um, you could be in this energy where you're unbothered. You're like, fuck the haters. I don't care. It could be you blowing up and just, you know, saying, fuck it. You know, <laughs> it could be that. All right. I was hearing I'm finding myself. So for some of you, Aquarius, you could be finding your voice or finding yourself. Okay. It's just a strong energy of somebody not giving a fuck. They're just like, okay, I'm not investing in this anymore. Whatever this is, I'm not investing. I'm over this. Okay. This could be in a positive way or negative, whatever. Okay. Acts as if they know what the T is and spreads them. So somebody could be gossiping about you. Or, or somebody could see you as such. So somebody's spreading the tea, acting like they know what's up when they really don't. Okay. So just, they're just gossiping. You could also be online, you know, <laughs> watching people gossip, you know, maybe talk shit about you. You know, I was hearing the tabloids. So some of you could be famous, you know, and be reading the tabloids, people spreading the tea, saying stuff that's not even true. Okay. Oh, I meant to say, what was at the bottom of the deck? It's the 10 of orbs, which is a 10 of swords. So this, there was definitely an ending. Okay. Or somebody putting an end to something. All right. Fired, demoted, laid off. So um, you could be getting fired demoted or laid off or somebody that you know you could be witnessing this it makes a lot of sense with the tower and the moon it's like something happening un unexpectedly maybe somebody was really comfortable in the nine of cups like okay i got my own office space i'm doing my thing whatever and then they end up getting fired or, de or demoted okay or maybe even quitting all right um I was hearing don't get too comfortable. Okay, so you, so you could be witnessing this. Some of you could have just quit. You know, it could be that too. All right, issues are making you feel stuck and unable to move, move forward. So issues making you feel stuck and unable to move forward, which makes a lot of sense with the seven of crystals. For some of you, you could be in that energy. It's like I said, it's the um, Lord of unfulfill, unfulfilled success. So feeling stuck. Okay, feeling uh, maybe lost out of sorts. You could be witnessing somebody experience this. Thinks they, wait, thinks they are smarter than others due to their background. So somebody uh, thinks that they're smarter. Okay, I was hearing seniority. So this can talk about the workplace. Maybe you work with people who maybe have went to school or have a lot of experience. And so they make others feel less than or they treat them um, negatively. Okay. Um, this is also an energy of somebody who's a manipulator too. Okay. I was hearing, um, dismissive, passive aggressive. Okay. Payment due, negative balance, time's up to pay up. <coughs> Excuse me. So somebody could be serving time. Okay. Or, you know, maybe, uh, you're, somebody's behind on bills. Okay. Um, somebody needs to pay up, pay their dues, okay? Somebody could be requesting um, 
uh, I don't know what I was hearing, like restitution or requesting some um, type of payment for damages. This could be, um, you know, done against you or maybe you did this against somebody else. Who knows? Double dipping. Allegedly accepting money from two different resources. Okay, so somebody could be doing some underhanded shit when it comes to money. All right. Um, okay, illegally accepting money. So it could be maybe you are in, in a line of sales. Okay. Uh, and maybe you get commission already. And in your contract, you're not supposed to get commission from the provider or the customer or whatever. And you ended up doing that. That could be the case. Okay. Um, there could be a breach in a contract as well. Okay, something like that. What the hell's going on? Okay, knight in shining armor wants to love others authentically. So this could be you or you could see someone as such. This could be an, um, an a Sagittarius that you connect with or connecting with or um, um, a, a Libra, an air sign person. Okay, I would also see Leo. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um there is someone who has your back, you know, who you can rely on uh, if necessary. This is somebody who always shows up. This is someone who will go to war for you as well. All right. Buried secrets. Someone doesn't want anyone to dig up. So someone has secrets, secrets that they do not want dug up at all. Okay. They don't want to deal with that. What else is going on with Aquarius? Awesome. We're doing good on time. Under 20 minutes. All right, show me what's going on with Aquarius. Speak to Aquarius. Okay, let's get the temperature on Aquarius. Let's 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 see what's going on with their chakras, their energies, their inner selves. What's going on? Okay, give me four cards. Okay, we got facade. So there could be a facade. Okay, that you are, you know, you're maybe. How can I say this? Maybe you're putting up this facade, okay, for others, all right? And maybe you're needing to be more realistic. This is yellow, so this is dealing with your solar plexus. So maybe you're needing to see the reality of a situation, all right? I, I, I also was hearing what could have been. Maybe you have certain, um, you know, beliefs that are not really realistic, Okay. That's for some of you, discovery. We're talking about self-discovery with the Seeker of Flames. So this is you needing to discover yourself, you know, embark on self-discovery, especially when it comes to the matter of your heart. I feel like some of you are already initiating this or in this energy. Okay, you're on the path of self-discovery. Others of you may not, and you're encouraged to do so. I feel like for some of you, there. There's just the energy of something going down, something happening, but it was it was meant, even though it was maybe painful or uncomfortable, it was meant to happen in order for you to embark on the self-discovery, in order for you to really know who you truly are, okay, to see what role you play. Because for some of you, you may have caused this in some type of way, and you're like, fuck, why me, this and that, but maybe, maybe, you know, you need to realize, yes, okay, maybe if I did things differently, it, it would be different, you know, or things could have changed or happened a different way, and, you know, it's like looking within it's like it's um being accountable it's um being self-aware even okay so keep that in mind okay vanity okay so vanity it could be some vanity maybe you're only focused on the outside appearance or how others may perceive you maybe you want to be perceived as the all-knowing okay the all-knowing maybe you want to be perceived as the um, the social life, I don't know. Okay. But there is some type of falsehood here and there's a need for you to be more authentic, not saying you're fake, but just like be your true authentic self. Okay. Don't, don't act a certain way to get likes or to feel, to be accepted. Okay. Enlightenment. So we have yellow. So this was the root chakra, the red one. This is the throat chakra. 
and then this will be the solar plexus again so enlightenment so uh, for some of you you are enlightened at this time or you're encouraged encouraged to seek enlightenment to expand your mind to expand your wisdom i was hearing like seeing outside of yourself like um, i'm getting a vision of somebody like seeing the bigger picture looking at themselves okay um you may feel like this little kid here but you're really this guru or somebody who's very wise all right you're being enlightened of your true gifts and your abilities i see here or you're encouraged to do so also be mindful of any complacency all right what is aquarius's advice going forward aquarius's advice going forward And this is so crazy. I feel like the Nine of Cups could be a wish fulfillment for you guys um, because you've um, experienced some type of enlightenment. Look at the sun rays here. Okay, look at the sun rays coming down, right? Coming down, and then the sun rays are coming down as well on the Nine of Chalices. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. So for some of you, you could be experiencing this enlightenment and that is your fulfillment. Okay, that's that's your happiness. You could have you could have recognized like all these things, you know, uncomfortable things happen, but it was meant to it was meant to happen the way it did. That I feel like some of you Aquarius are understanding that or you're needing to, or there is somebody who's definitely understanding that. All right, protection. So your advice going forward is protection. All right, so protect your space, protect your energy, call back your power. Cut the cords, soul retrieval. I love this because I mentioned the first card we pulled, the Ace of Wands, mentioned taking back your power or reclaiming your power. So it says call back your power. All right. So your advice is going forward. Protect your energy. All right. That's the end of your reading, Aquarius. God bless.